The last type of forest, dear students, in our syllabus is mountain forest. Okay, somewhere it is also spelled as mountain forest. Okay, mountain or somewhere also spelled as mountain forest. Okay, now geographical requirements. That means how much will be the rainfall and how much will be the temperature required. First thing, it grows very well where the rainfall is from 150 to 250 centimeter. And second important thing, the temperature has to be less than 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, please remember these values are average values. Now, characteristics of this forest. Okay, now look at it very carefully. What is happening now? Look at this forest. You will find here the trees are having umbrella shape, whereas the trees over here are having this conical shape. In other words, here we find this deciduous type of forest as well as the coniferous type of forest, and that is why the word used there is mixed forest. Another meaning of the word mixed forest is here we find alpine type of forest also. Alpine basically means the one that are exclusively found in mountain area and tropical means which are found in comparatively hotter regions. Okay, now look at this picture very carefully. What do you notice? Now here you will find some coniferous plants. If you go further high up, you find there are no plants growing over here. In other words, dear students, in this forest region, okay, uh, as the altitude changes, the type of the plant growing in that region, type of forest found in the region also changes. For example, if the altitude is between 1000 to 2000 meter, there you will find mixed variety of vegetation that means deciduous type of trees will be found there as well as coniferous. Between 2000 to 3000 you will be basically found the coniferous type of plants. Okay, coniferous. The reason is as the altitude increases, temperature decreases and when the temperature will decrease, the snowfall chances are there and in order to protect themselves, these plants are having the conical shape. The reason is when the snowfall occur, okay, now what will happen to this snow dear student? That snow will not be able to settle on the plant and it will slide down and in this way the plant will be protected. Then when you go further up, Okay, once you cross the altitude of 3000 and you are now moving towards 4000 meter, okay, there now even the coniferous plants are found very, very little. There you will basically find grass growing there along with some coniferous plants. And after 4000 meter, now you have reached to the altitude of now 5000 meter. Beyond that, dear student, beyond 5000 meter, no coniferous, no deciduous plants will grow. There you will basically find grass, lichen and moss. Okay, these type of plants. Look here. This is quite high altitude. More than 4000 meter up to 5000 meter. So, this altitude is around 4000 to 5000. But when you go beyond this, there is nothing growing. So between 4000 to 5000, as I already said, you will find here grass and to some extent even this coniferous type of plants will also be found. Okay, look here. You can find mainly grass, but as you go up here, nothing is seen. Actually, nothing is seen um, because the vegetation over there is very, very small vegetation which includes lichen and moss. 
this one that you see dear student this one is called as lichen some people also pronounce it as lichen okay okay but actual pronunciation is lichen now lichen is the combination of now two plants here grow together these two plants are algae and uh, fungus so they grow together we call it by the name lichen then this plant that you see here okay this vegetation this is moss this is lichen grass okay so beyond uh, 5000 meter here you will basically find lichen moss and grass okay now look at this you can see here as the altitude is changing okay the type of vegetation is also changing and then when you go further then there will be nothing found in that area okay so we have seen how much is the rainfall requirement okay we have also seen the temperature requirement then we have seen these characteristics now let us look at some of the major plants which are found over here spruce silver fir devdar pine okay now look here when you go in south india okay there is basically nilgiri mountain annamalai mountain range there you will find a very interesting plant okay and uh, that plant is called shola okay shola besides shola plantation magnolia laurel is found cinchona is found wattle okay these are the vegetation found in south india talking about shola look at this shola vegetation it has got a very interesting characteristic if this is a mountain and this is another mountain okay i am talking about the mountains children okay in between them this region okay in between these two mountains only this shola vegetation grows okay it's very famous vegetation in south indian region this plant is magnolia grown as ornamental plant to increase the beauty of the surrounding this plant is called silver fir now look at this plant dear children okay you get here a silvery kind of uh, um, color okay or silvery kind of feel at the edges of this plant therefore it is called as silver fir it is used to make many things like paper match boxes as well as packing boxes are made from this chirpine is another plant dear student we make resin from this plant turpentine okay that is actually a type of paint material and for making tea chest now this resin i was talking about some time back okay it is used to make adhesive that means gum like uh, material then uh, also for varnishes which are added on the roof uh, not exactly roof but on a top of a, a wood in order to give it a shiny appearance then this is called as a tea chest okay this tea chest is made from this char pine plant please remember students that tea chest is used in order to export the high quality tea okay so tea is packed in the tea chest and it is then exported devdar plant okay most widely used plant in this forest used basically for making plywood that means in construction work and as well as in making railway sleeper furniture is also of course made from it railway sleepers we have already seen some time back okay oak wood is another plant useful for making the cabinets now we have come to a very very important topic and that is forest conservation now if the question is asked what is forest conservation okay so many students their idea it is to conserve forest conserve forest means exactly what okay so please remember it's a process dear student in which we have to make planning 
in order to increase the area under forest not only to increase the area under forest but how are we going to maintain that area under forest and how we are going to take steps to improve okay the area under forest this process is called as forest conservation now please remember conservation does not mean that we don't have to cut the trees at all we can cut the trees but we have to use them very judiciously it means whenever needed only that time we have to cut them in a very proper way without causing their depletion so how can we do that if i am going to cut the trees definitely the depletion will occur so what they do whenever they plant trees now let us say they cut one tree so at the same time they will be planting maybe 10 trees when they cut one tree so this is how we are cutting on one side but at the very same time we are also carrying out replantation in order to conserve forest you must have heard about vanamotsa social forestry agroforestry chipko movement these are other efforts okay taken in order to increase the area under forest now why there is a need what is the aim behind conservation of what is the aim the simple reason we want to control it because people are nowadays cutting them on a very large scale and government wants to control this indiscriminate meaning of the word indiscriminate is the cutting which is done without thinking simply they keep on cutting the so government wants to put a control over that second thing government also wants to control the overgrazing government wants to put a ban on shifting cultivation okay and government also want to take the steps to carry out afforestation and reforestation now look at this do you notice here that some trees are already been removed here okay people either cut the plants here dear students or they simply burn the plants over here and when that happens okay they are going to grow the crops in this area now this is causing depletion of the forest and government wants to put ban on it okay that is the objective to put a ban overgrazing will ultimately uh, remove the forest cover grass cover and that will lead to ultimately soil erosion now if the question is asked why there is a deforestation now deforestation is carried out for various purposes people want to make houses they want to construct dam they want to construct roadways so for all these developmental processes deforestation is done whenever industries are to be um, made they are generally made outside the city by clearing the forest sometimes forests are cut in order to make the land available for grazing so in this way dear student lot of lot of um, ways the deforestation is occurring and that is causing damage to our environment okay now as i already said if we don't conserve the forest why there is a need the simple reason we want to conserve forest so that there is what better climatic condition better climatic condition means there is enough of oxygen in the air less amount of carbon dioxide temperature is under control there is proper amount of rainfall occurring okay then if there is more amount of forest naturally the rainfall will increase dear students as well as the forest when it will grow that forest will also provide habitat dwelling place for the wild life. forest will also control the soil erosion so therefore we say they are doing very important work and therefore there is a need to need to conserve forest now 
the steps that are taken for forest conservation the government is now putting a ban on indiscriminate deforestation now we are also taking a step to stop wasteful use of forest wasteful use means unnecessarily cutting without any reason is wasteful use and third one that suppose now this is a forest which people are going to cut so that they can obtain fuel the government is now providing them with alternate fuel like biogas okay or maybe cooking gas okay or natural gas at cheap rate so that our forest will be conserved now next is more steps that can be taken that forest fires okay can be controlled by making fire line okay second thing uh, they also carry out reforestation now if the deforestation is done in such a place when we plant trees again we call it reforestation whereas afforestation means growing the trees in such a areas where trees are never grown so carrying out tree plantation at new place then government also has to control the overgrazing and of course government has to create awareness now if i ask you will you cut a plant answer will be of course no and if i ask you why they will say sir forest play so many roles that means students you are aware that forest are important and this is how the awareness will be helpful in controlling the deforestation now government is also taking some steps for example in 1980 government has passed one act okay which is called as forest conservation act okay and why this act was uh, passed dear student the simple reason government wanted to protect our forest so when the forest will be protected the plant life will be protected and fauna means animal life that means wildlife will also be protected and by passing this law government has put a very strict uh, rules in order to carry out deforestation that means if somebody wants to carry out deforestation they have to make sure that they are planting more number of trees now then in 1988 our government passed a national forest tree or national forest policy okay why this forest policy was passed the reason was government wanted to protect the forest to conserve our forest and of course to develop the forest in our country please remember a country's 33% area should be under forest 33% minimum okay the latest value tells that around 22% area of our country is under forest and it's not a good sign it is resulting into less rainfall droughts that means resulting into more increased temperature more increased soil erosion and it is causing lot of problem therefore government was has passed this forest policy law in 1988 and also governments of course want to preserve whatever natural resources are already present now social forestry is an attempt in which okay everybody is involved people common people political parties then school children college children everybody is requested or uh, everybody is asked to come together to carry out tree plantation we call it by the name social forestry okay the reason was they wanted to care they wanted to promote this social uh, uh, rural and environmental development because of this i repeat okay when the forest will develop 
turned rural areas will also develop there will be better rainfall because of that better agricultural development also when the forest will grow people will also have wood they then the animals can also go for grazing in a forest then there will be wood available by selling them also people can earn money okay and of course forests also provide raw material to the cottage industry now remember cottage industries are the industries which are run by a person in his own house now if a person is uh, collecting honey from a forest so he can pack them in a bottle and sell them so that becomes the cottage industry now the next one is look here here this activity where they are growing the trees okay so this is barren land so they are growing the plants over here so that means it is a forestation okay agroforestry is a process in which what is done so here we generally select one area where a lot of open places available okay so here we grow the trees generally nearby the crop that we are growing now see here the crops which are being grown okay and around these crops they are also growing the trees when we do that it is called as agroforestry then vana mahotsav is a social activity in which we celebrate forest van means forest mahotsav matlab celebration so we celebrate forest by planting more number of trees then many places chipko movement is been implemented and uh, we have already studied what exactly is chipko movement when i was talking about that kgri plant okay now even school children are involved dear students in order to carry out this chipko movement okay so by doing this we develop love for our nature and we are showing love and at the very same time we are telling the government that we are not allowing the people to cut these plants this is a process where reforestation is done you can see here some jungle area is already been cleared you know it's been cleared the trees were burnt over here so now in such areas we are carrying out reforestation means growing the plants again in a area where plants were cut agroforestry i have already explained to grow the these are the crops so along with crops you are growing trees this is called as agroforest then we also have an activity where social forestry we talked about where everyone the students is involved right from children to elderly people we are involving everyone in order to carry out tree plantation so that the area under forest go on increasing we can see here a lot of agroforest is being done these tall trees are seen to be growing okay this is a tea farm so along with uh, growing crop called tree we are also carrying out the tree plantation okay i hope you have understood this entire topic okay and may god bless you abundantly thank you